Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of weighing. We got issue 71 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Okay, talk about going back in time. Didn't we do this in issue 68 or 69? I can't remember which one. Uh, we're going to be doing exactly the same thing as we did last time. We're going to be doing the uh, interiors of the doors, but obviously on the other side this time. Uh, so we're going to get cracking on it straight away. But I have laid out all the pieces that we're going to need uh, in this uh, area here. Uh, but... Uh, I did notice when I actually got my um, got my delivery uh, that this bit of the car, just that little top bit up there, had broken off. So I've had to glue that back on. Uh, I don't know if anyone else has had that problem. I should have really checked when I picked it up. But uh, yeah, that had broken off. But it's back on now, so everyone's happy. Uh, but this is the bit we're going to need first. And the first thing we're going to be doing is grabbing our screwdriver. Uh, they gave us kp ap and jp screws which is really nice of them uh, because the first screws we're going to need are the jp ones so i'm going to open these up uh, the way i was taught by someone on the internet by just twisting the bag we only need one of them uh, because the first thing we're going to be doing is this little sort of like a, what they call it the front lock uh, is going to be going into uh, the front of the vehicle which is this bit here into that little hole just there uh, and the way it goes in basically uh, it's going to be going in uh, this way Following the, following the sort of like shape of the, the unit there. And this is going to be attached on the back in uh, step two with the JP screw. So I'll just uh, load up the JP screw. God, this is going to give you guys a load of deja vu, isn't it? It's like, you've, done, you've already done this. <laughs> okay, on the other side, we're going to be doing the, the, uh, the other unit on the back, which is this uh, shaped unit here. We should be able to whiz through this, really. Uh, that's going to be going on the other side. And again, this has got two little pin holes there. As you can see, you've got a, a screw hole and a little pin for it to go in. So that can only go in one place, just like that. Fits absolutely lovely. I suppose that wasn't done with just the mouldings, actually. That, uh, it's an extra bit that we put on. Uh, I just need another JP screw here. So let's get that out. There we go. I haven't had to uh, go to my box of tricks for a long time, as in the uh, spare screws. So it is nice that uh, they are giving us an ample amount of screws for this build. But putting this one in here. There we go. And that's that one in. Once it's in all the way, looks just like that. Uh, so that was step uh, four done. Now step five, we're going to be putting these little lights in. As we already know, it should be two amber, one red, I think. But they gave us two red and one amber. Uh, but the way they go is uh, in this uh, angled bit here, we're going to be putting the red. So there's a red in there now. Uh, on the one at the bottom here, we're going to have another red. So we put the red in there. And then they've got the amber going in just this flat side here. Um, it hasn't asked me to put that in yet. Amber, orange, so I'm just going to put the two in that it's asked me to do. That was step five. Okay, now we're going to be putting the covers over the top of these. And you've got two kinds. You've got one which has got the pin in the centre, which is going to go into the centre one. And one on this one, whoops, which I'm holding, has got the pin just off, off centre, which is going to go into the other one there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the one uh, in for the centre first. Uh, and it goes in basically like... <laughs> I keep dropping things. Right, just like this. So it holds that lamp in place. There you go. And then that's going to be held in with a KP screw. So let's uh, just open these KP screws up. I'm so glad that that... I, I, you'll have to put it in comments who, who actually told me just to twist the top open. Because that's, uh, that's been a godsend. I can never normally open these things. Okay, so let's get this screw in here. And that was basically step five done. Uh, sorry, step seven done. Nice and tight in there. That's perfect. Uh, the next bit, step eight, we're going to be putting the uh, the goldish sort of thing. And this is going to be holding the angled one in there. So exactly the same thing as we just did. Uh, we're going to be putting this in. If I get this in and then you can see which way around it goes. It goes over the pin on that side. And then we're going to be screwing in with that side. So that's going to be an AP screw. God, we're opening them all up now, aren't we? <laughs> I'll put the AP screws over there so I don't lose them. AP screws, I must have about 50 of these now, just so you know. Because <laughs> uh, that seems to be the screw of choice for this build. So, here goes the AP screw in there. Just like that. Nice and tight. Uh, once that's in, we're going to be putting the little orange lens in this side here. That just drops in, just like so. Whoops. 
just like so. So that's fitted in just like that. That was step nine done. Uh, then we're going to be putting the cover on for this, which is going to be held in with a KP screw, one of these ones here. Uh, the cover just exactly the same. You've got the pin on there, so it's just going to go out over the top. Just like that. And then I'm going to put a KP screw in there now. There we go, and that's nice and tight. So now none of those lenses on that side, that side, or that side are gonna fall out. They're all in lovely. Uh, right, we're gonna put that to one side because we're gonna do this belt now. Now this belt, oh God, I remember this from the last time, is a pain in the neck because it's really fiddly. Uh, so the first thing you wanna do is <coughs> have it the right way round. So the way round they've got it here is, uh, oh, let's turn it around. You're gonna have a flat end, just like that. And then you're going to have the semicircular bit, which I'm not going to bother about the direction of that. I could turn that around later, but it's going to go in like that. Then we're going to have the flat end of this. And basically this is going to be going in that side. I hope you can see this on one of the cameras. I'm going to try and get it on this side camera here. Up the other side. So we've got it like that. I'll show you on that camera. It's going to look just like that. Uh, and then we're going to be folding this bit here back through the circle hole here. So... This took forever in the last one from what I remember. So let's see if it's going to take forever again. And you don't want to twist the ribbon. I don't think it'll look very good if the uh, ribbon's twisted, but let's get this in. And then when it's in, it should look just like that. That was tricky. I had to cut away then, I have to say. Uh, once we've done that, it says uh, swing 71E round. So the strap will hang down when fitted. So it's going to need to be swung all the way around. Um, just seeing what way they've got it. So that this is going to be going on this side here. Just like that. As a matter of fact, uh, on the one I've got the picture, now that it looks exactly the same actually. Because uh, when this is trapped in, you want this obviously to be hanging down. You don't want to be pointing up, otherwise you're never going to be open the door, are you? <laughs> right, so now we've got this bit. We're going to be attaching this bit by these little three holes here. Or two holes, sorry, two screw holes. Uh, just onto this section here. So that's going to go in just like that. And it follows the contour of the car there. And this is going to be secured in with uh, AP screws. And this is step 14. So I've got loads of AP screws here. Let's get this loaded up. First one in, these holes here. Excellent, and then the second one. That goes in the other side. So that was step 14 done. Step 15, we've got a bit of trim to put in and the trim's just gonna be fitting over these two little screw holes here. So we put that in there, just like, oh, the other way, just like that. So it fits nice and flush on the side. Uh, and then this is going to be secured in again with AP screws. Now you can see why they've sent us so many AP screws. So two screw holes for this one. That's the first one in. Looks like we've got one spare AP screw there. So this is the second one. Matter of fact, the next probably three of these videos are going to be exactly as the same, exactly what you've seen. Uh, and that's it. That's all we had to do. So we've got this bit of the door done here and we've got this bit here. Eventually, this bit's going to be going on the door. Uh, not sure how. Something like that. But uh, you've seen that in previous videos anyway. But that's all we have to do for issue 71. Now, issue 72 is going to be coming out next Thursday. I am aware this video was slightly late because uh, I did the, the flux mox, the flux box, the flux capacitor mod. There we go. Got it right there. The flux capacitor mod yesterday. So that's why um, this video is out late. But uh, that was issue 71. Issue 72 is telling us we've just got some more uh, door parts there car parts, windows, stuff like that for the car. So I uh, hope you tune in for that. If you haven't subscribed uh, to my channel and you want to get notifications for this, just click the subscribe button or after this little uh, thing here, uh, down in the corner here, I've got my image. If you click on that, you can subscribe through that as well. And if you click the bell next to it, it'll also notify you every time a video is uploaded. Uh, other than that, hope you like that video. Take care.